Hi, Gre Hi Greg Koopman. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you or discuss uh, what kinds of columns we should delete and why. <clears throat> so first of all, let's just go and look at our report here and let's look at our model. So this is our model and these were the tables we wanted to bring in. And uh, so we, why do we want to identify and delete um, columns? I mean, maybe someday we want to use these columns. Well, in the meantime, we can always un undelete them and bring them in. So we shouldn't have to worry about them as long as they're in the data warehouse somewhere in the relational tables. So we don't have to worry about that. So really what we want, why do we want to uh, decrease the number of columns as much as possible is because those take up memory. Every column takes up more memory, takes longer to load. Okay, both things are important. You want to have good performance for your uh, report recipients, and you also need to save money because you have a finite uh, amount of memory that you're allowed to use, okay, in, in your overall reporting system. So those two are very important. So we do have to strip down what we figure out what columns we need and what we don't need. Okay, so basically the kind of columns you don't need are those that do not show up on the reports, but just because they don't show up on the report or dashboard doesn't mean you don't still need them. Okay, for example, these key columns like due date and um, order date key these are joining these tables together. We're not going to see these keys uh, on our reports, but we still we still need them for for connecting our relationships between tables. Okay. Also, some of these uh, columns might be used to concatenate labels or other things. Okay. So we might need to keep them even there, just even though they're not used um, or are seen on the reports or dashboards. There's other columns here that we use for sorting. Okay, again, those aren't seen by the report or the dashboard. So we can't just delete those. Okay, those we have to keep. So you have to look at every single column and figure out whether you're going to need it or you're not going to need it fairly per semi-permanently. Okay. You can always, don't get scared of deleting a, a column. If something happens and you need to bring it back, you can do so, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go through a couple of these tables and start deleting some of these data, uh, some of this data that we don't, we're not going to use. Okay. So I'm going to go into my data view. Okay. And you just go over to the side here and you have your different columns. So let's just start with, uh, dim customer okay so we have a customer key we're going to need that because that's going to join our relationship to fact internet sales geography key right now in this scenario because we don't even have a geography here we don't need that key okay if later we bring in we need geography in our reports and we bring in the table for geography uh yes we might need to join it to geography table okay but for right now we don't have to do that so that, that one we can say goodbye to. So I'm just going to come in here and say right click and say delete. And now that's deleted. Okay. I'm going to go through all my columns and evaluate this. Now here's first name and middle name and last name. Well, we, let's say we sh we're going to show just one name column. We're probably going to have to concatenate those. Title on the other hand. Uh, I don't think we're going to use title. Okay, so we can go ahead and delete that. Okay, so we just right click and delete again. All right, and so on and so on and so on. So I'm not going to go and show you all the deletions because that's just a waste of time. Um, but I just wanted to go through. It's an important aspect uh, because the more skinny, or the less columns you have in your tables, uh, the more memory savings you're going to have. Okay, when it compresses. All right, so it's very important. Okay, but let's say now we deleted a column, but we need to get it back. And how would we do that? Okay, it's there is it, we right click. I don't see anything that says uh, I see unhide, but I don't see undelete. Right. So if we want to undelete 
the column. Okay, this is what we do. We go to my um, table in this case. So here I am on dim customer. That's where I made my deletions. So what I'll do is go over to this icon. icon um, I'm sorry, this icon, which is a transfer data, transform data. And I'll go to transform data. And it brings up a familiar screen that we've all seen before. Well, actually, we don't go to advanced editor in this case. So here I am on dim customer. And these are the different activities or steps that were applied. So as you see, there's a remove, remove columns there. Okay. So if I go in to advanced editor, I should be able to see what that, that remove columns is doing. So you see how it says remove columns right there? So I had removed the geography key in the title title column, right? So if I just undo, let's say I just want to bring I want to bring back the title column. I can just erase that and hit done. Okay. So as you see, there are pending changes in your queries that haven't been applied, but we know the title uh, column isn't there. But actually, maybe actually I think it automatically applied it. So let's take a look. Here it is, title at the very end, not much data there, but it came back. I'm sure somewhere along the line here there's some titles. Yeah, there is. So let's just say we look for Mr. And there's the Misters. Okay, so that's how you you delete columns and you undelete them. And, um, you know, you have to look at each one, each column to see whether you're going to use it because the more you can get rid of the the faster you're going to per, it's going to perform better your model and you it's going to have less clutter uh, but then again you can overdo the deletions and and uh, but this is part of modeling so um, you understand how to undelete if you delete the wrong one okay thanks for watching I hope this helps